welcome to Toy Hunt time, guys, and we're in London. London has been amazing, so I'm here to narrate this for you. So first stop here, we're in Forbidden Planet in London. It's the mega store. It's huge. This is my first time ever going to this store, and I was not disappointed. Look at that. The SH Figure Arts Automashi Nation's Samurai Ninja Batman. I need those in my life. Ninja Batman and Ninja Joker didn't have the cash on me that day to grab them. They're a bit on the pricey side here. But I definitely am going to get them at some point for review. Look at all these Harley statues. Oh my. Really love them. I wanted to pick some up. But again, everything in here was a little bit on the expensive side. But I enjoyed my look around and vlogging in here. And I did pick up a Marvel Legend or two. So tune in in a couple of days time where we will be check be showing you the, uh, the, the haul of stuff that I did pick up whilst in London. And as well, guys, if you are new around here, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us and helps us out. So, on with the toy haul, guys. On with the toy hunt here. And we're looking at all the brand new stuff. There's a bunch of new Freddy merchandise. Five Nights at Freddy's based on the arcade game, the pizza, uh, the pizza place. And it was actually really cool. I liked those. Uh, then we moved on to Orbital Comics. Now, Orbital Comics have this little uh, cabinet at the front of the store, which has a bunch of retro stuff in it, all marked up. Didn't fancy anything in there, sadly, but it was really cool and nostalgic to look at. They did have the big Marvel Legends um, Defenders pack as well, with the unmasked variants, and that really cool Star Wars piece there. But again, nothing really grabbing my fancy at the prices they had up. This comic shop is amazing there. It's just wall-to-wall -wall comics. On this big wall here, they have this week's comics, followed by last week's comics, and then a week from now. And we, It was crazy. They just, we went back so far. And they also just got in the brand new waves. They got in the new Spider-Man wave and the new Captain Marvel wave. So if you are in the London area, do check out Orbital Comics and pick yourselves up some of these awesome figures. I have reviewed them all already on the channel. And I do believe my buddy Richard here in London was dying to pick some of those up, including that Nick Fury. Yeah, he really liked that, that Spider as well, the symbiote. But um, I don't think he ended up picking it up in the end. This comic store is pretty cool, guys. Once again, it's Orbital Comics. Please do check them out. Uh, they're a little independent comic shop, and uh, we need to support the local comic stores and keep them going. I used to visit comic stores when I was a kid, and I do not want to see them disappear from the UK market. So please, guys, always try and support your local comic shop where possible. Orbital Comics is pretty good, though. It had a lot of awesome stock of stuff in, including the, the end there. They had the Vintage Wave stuff. But I uh, didn't need them because I'd already been to the Forbidden Planet and may have picked a couple up. So make sure, like I said, you check out the haul video. We were looking at all these Captain Marvel ones as well. I've already reviewed all these on the channel, as you know, guys. So please do check them out. If you haven't checked out the reviews already, it would really support me out. I think Richard... That's Richard reaching into the frame there, grabbing that Captain... Uh, that Nick Fury, sorry. Yeah, he really wanted that figure. For me, in that wave, I think Puma was a really surprising figure, and the Red Goblin as well was one of my favourites. On to M&M World. I didn't even realise this existed. It's four or five uh, floors of chocolatey goodness. It stinks in there of chocolate, though. It is such a overwhelming, powerful smell. And I've got a feeling it's artificial and pumped in. There's no way that shop smells like that normally. So just excuse me here as we walk across... And aim the camera down. Whee, that's a long way down. But they have the Mini Cooper at the bottom there. Open top with the M&M figures inside. We didn't really venture any further into the store as, you know, I, I didn't really need me some chocolate. I'm a big guy already. Let's not get any bigger by eating more chocolate. So I think we kind of moved on from here. And we checked out the Leicester Square Lego store. This store is huge. And yes, I did get my photo taken in that little car. So please do check out my Instagram if you haven't already, guys. My Instagram's where I put up lots of pictures from my time in London. Please do check it out and do hit the like button and follow over there if you are an Instagrammer. The uh, big Lego Big Ben was amazing. They also had the, cl the classic green dragon like they have in Florida. Lego Movie Part 2 is on its way to cinema soon, guys, and therefore Lego is properly going all out with the Lego sets once again. 
They had lots of different versions of these sets. We did see a bunch of them at London Toy Fair. But for some reason, London Toy Fair didn't want us to film them. Moving on to Hamley's, and Hamley's ground floor is now a haven for Harry Potter fans. Even though Platform 9 and 3 quarters isn't that far away, they've turned the bottom floor of Hamley's into a haven for Potter fans. So me and, Rich, me and Richard had a good look around here and took some photos. And once again, those are on Instagram. They had lot, lots of different wands and doodads and yeah, Harry Potterness. Uh, I'm okay. I like Harry Potter. It's not my favorite. I'm okay with it. I prefer the movies to the books. I know, I know, I know. Don't kill me. My wife is a massive Harry Potter fan though, and she would have loved this shop. And don't worry, we do check out Nine and Three Quarters at the end of this vlog as well. They had a bunch of the pop vinyls for Harry Potter though on that big wall, and a bunch of other Potter merchandise. Oh look, have you seen this wizard? Moving on though guys, they did have the Millennium Falcon here on display. We were discussing that I f that we feel that that Lego set is very out of scale. The Lego minifigures seem too small by comparison to the Falcon. See what I mean? Those figures are tiny by comparison. That can't be right. And there's Kylo Ren and all his Lego-y goodness. There is a big yellow tape on Mark on the floor so he couldn't get too close. And, a, and one of the uh, Micro Fighters built in huge form. A massive version of one of the Micro Fighters. And a Lego Ray with BB-8. Yeah. That was really cool. I really did enjoy looking at that. And a giant Stormtrooper guarding the Hamleys TV apparently. And they had some goodies in a cabinet to feast our eyes on, but guess what? It was so expensive. There's no way we were grabbing those for £95, especially when I know a website that's selling them for 25 and that includes Thor, Black Panther, and Deadpool. So, I mean, pff, definitely don't pick them up at Hamley's at £95 a pop. That giant Transformer was awesome. The Optimus Prime, it did make noise as well. Every so often in Hamleys, it'd go, Optimus Prime, Autobots roll out. So, moving on to our platform, nine and three quarters. One of our final stops whilst we're here in London. And it was amazing. It is a really cool shop and very well themed. They had lots of different merchandise from the classic Potter stuff right down to some proper goodies, including watches and jewellery pieces and everything. So guys, I'm going to stop talking now and let, let you guys enjoy the background noise and the ending to this vlog. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new around here, smash the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>